Hello everyone and welcome to a slightly belated review of Disaster Detective Saiga, an indescribable mystery. Not an auspicious name for a game I'm supposed to review and describe to you, but uh, I will try my best. Now something I want to point out that confused me at first, it's definitely Saiga and not Saga, because it's the dude's name, he's Tendo Saiga, which you can't convince me isn't a play on Nintendo and Sega. But with that out of the way, let's take a quick look. Disaster Detective Saga is an adventure visual novel starring the eponymous, hapless, unlucky deadbeat private detective. He wants to be your classic hard-boiled, hard-drinking, hard-smoking PI, but it turns out he's just a runny yolk-filled bum who can't even afford booze or cigarettes. He's clumsy and always getting himself into trouble, but he has a kind heart. Instead of taking the big cases, he's just trying to make ends meet by taking small requests like finding a lost cat and helping his favourite restaurant get rid of a mice problem. He's joined by a psychic girl who can predict issues that will send people's life into a well of despair. She helps Saiga find these people and help them out before it's too late. There are six fairly short episodes and there's a bunch of lovable, weird characters you'll get to know. There's Saiga's main crew which consists of himself, Ray the sidekick and two kids, one who's obsessed with the occult and one who's obsessed with Saiga himself. There are other people out there who will help you too, but I found those to be a little bit hit and miss. I did enjoy the core cast as they provide a lot of cute dialogue, funny moments, and it really did feel like some sort of comedy anime or manga. Like it really could be one. The overarching plot of the game that is built up over the episodes is that Sina, which is the town they live in, is experiencing some weirdness. Cryptids have been spotted, and even the cat Saiga is looking for is getting all Cthulhu on his ass. The gameplay is a bit of a mixed bag, it's your standard visual novel stuff where 95% of the time you'll just be having dialogue back and forth between the characters. But the adventure does creep in here and there too. You have to select the location you want to visit, of which there's not too many. It's still kind of a small game, but I always tend to have lofty expectations of these type where I unreasonably expect dozens of locations only to get death stares from overworked artists. I get it. Then you have dialogue choices, which don't often let you fail, but you can die in a few situations if you make the wrong choice. But mostly, you just get pushed back saying you said the wrong thing. Then there's the pixel searching gameplay, where you move a cursor over objects and interact with things looking for clues. That's pretty standard stuff, but I do enjoy this sort of thing, especially when it leads to humorous dialogue. There's even a couple of mini games thrown in here as well, but it's kind of par for the course. If you've played the Phoenix Wright games, this is more or less the same thing, but on a budget. If I was to complain about a couple of things, it's that the story doesn't really climax as well as I'd like it to. Aside from the final case, the other five episodes feel like starter cases. There's not really a build-up intention. They feel like they could all be the first case in any Phoenix Wright game. And while the banter and dialogue is fun, one or two of the plots were quite boring. The first episode gave me a huge amount of hope because the final part of that episode brings all your investigation skills together. You use all the clues you found up to that point and it brings them together and you use them to survive. Some are red herring, some are real, and I thought, wow, this is going to be a great game. But it doesn't, you know, live up to that again. Every episode should have ended with you using your deduction and analysis skills to solve the problem, but they don't. That disappointed me. But maybe I was just expecting too much and that was the gimmick for that episode. Because I still think Disaster Detective Saga is still a fun adventure visual novel, if only for the characters and most of the story alone. However, you just won't feel like a real detective while playing it. The English translation is fine, but there's a few presentation errors, like sometimes not having spaces between words, and a little bit of the wording and choice of phrase feels a little bit off, but I wouldn't expect perfection anyways. They've done a solid job. It's nothing I haven't seen in games from bigger publishers. You know, there's a lot to proofread, guys. And the presentation, in terms of being a visual novel, well, you've got all your essentials, you've got your log, you've got your autoplay, your fast forward, your save anytime, things like that. And I like the fact that all of this isn't plastered on the screen everywhere. That is a bugbear of mine. I don't like to see all the commands and stuff on the dialogue box. I prefer it nice and clean like this. There is Japanese voice acting, at least partially. Some major scenes are fully voiced to great effect. I think Tendo Saiga's voice actor did a great job. Reyes was also good too. 
to, I just didn't enjoy the occasional puking sound she makes when she gets surprised. It gets fairly annoying after the first one. Other scenes have partial voices and some have the occasional grunt. It would have been nice if it was all voice acted, but whatever. And after a while, I just started hearing the voices even when they weren't there. Uh, I'll go get help. Now this is available digitally on the eShop for $25 on the US eShop, £18 on the UK one, a decent enough price. You'd get more value out of the Phoenix Wright trilogy, but if you've already bought that on any of the million consoles they're currently on, this is something new, a bit different. It's not the worst price ever, nor do I think it's a bargain. But it is available physically, but only in Japan and Asian regions. Thankfully, it does have English. When you boot the game up, make sure you go into the options menu and select English. So if you want to import a copy for yourself, keep it forever so it has some tangible value, then check the links in the description. Now this is not the kind of game that's going to stick around forever, trust me on that. I've been doing this for years, this is not the kind of game that will get restocked over and over again. It's an indie adventure game in Asia. If you click the link in the description and purchase, you also support us at the same time and I thank you ever so much. Plus in return for clicking our link, you can also get 5% off with our current discount code SW. TV23. Now that runs out at the end of this month, so subscribe and check the latest Let's Get Physical video every Monday for the latest code updates if you're watching in the future. I'm not sure how this stands with the Japanese release, but the slightly more expensive Asian version is definitely rocking a soundtrack CD and an entire novel, which is in Chinese. But the soundtrack is good. I actually like the music here. It's perfect VN music, which means I can listen to it in the background while I'm writing other stuff. Definitely got to get my hands on that one. And this is in Japan too, but I'm not sure if they're all like this or if there's a standard edition as well. Play Asia isn't really clear on that. Either way, links for both versions are below. Or if you want some eShop credit, check out switchwatch.net. We've got some there for many a region. Now, I really enjoyed my time with Disaster Detective Saiga. It's a short but fun detective adventure. It's a bit mild in terms of its depth of gameplay, but the characters and story, I enjoyed it for what it was. A few more locations wouldn't have gone amiss, and some more hardcore detective deduction would have been nice. But Saiga, Ray, and the two kids were fun to spend a few evenings with as they bumbled through a handful of mysteries. I wish the game built up to something a bit more grand, but as an indie attempt at something like Phoenix Wright, they did a good job, and I recommend it for fans of comedy and colourful characters. A 7 out of 10. Thanks for watching! If you watched all the way through, please leave me a boiled egg emoji in honour of the detective Saiga really wants to be. Check out some of our other stuff, we've got a lot of things for you to enjoy, and my new channel, a bit more Jordan for a lot more me. Go check it out.